<coughs> okay so today we'll see some new features of the ES6 so yesterday we have seen something called as closures these are nothing but what closures not this this is a JavaScript object very simple but we have written something like this right now here what I would be doing see let me record it say day 3 and here I am going to say one file new file which is nothing but index.js name of the file would be index.js I would be having one file right so yesterday we have created one scenario that let what is a let why do you use let for the scoping right so here I have one function say calc is equals to I have created one function and over here you can pass num1 and num2 as two parameters num1 and num2 these are the two parameters right and this function is calculating say return num1 plus num2 this function is calculating return num1 plus num2 right see we have one function named as calc and calc would be having two parameters num1 and the num2 now what I want to do I want to represent same thing right so what I will do is that let calc new version or say v2 is equals to version 2 is equals to right so these things I'll write as it is over here right and let me remove unwanted things let me remove unwanted things one right these braces let me remove let me remove this return symbol this return syntax and is equals to something like this so this format of the function is called as inline function or the anonymous function can be written in this fat arrow kind of thing right so I'll explain it if it is not in line say calc v3 is equals to parameters num1 num2 right fat arrow and this fat arrow and this and from here I can write log console.log like this console.log and here I can say num1 or I'll see if you want to say result is what you can say plus num1 plus num2 so answer would be num1 and num2 so you need to have in the brackets something like this right result is num1 and num2 and even you can return it if function is more than one line you can do something like this likewise this remember that function keyword is not needed to represent the lambda this thing is called as lambda you can call this thing as lambda this is a feature of ES6 this is the feature of ES6 called as lambda or in the JavaScript fashion you can call it as what you can say your fat arrow this arrow symbol is called as fat arrow right even you can write this thing in something this manner so go here and I'm going to have it so this is a uglier syntax so this is a string plus this thing so I can write this something like this right so if I want to have a multi-line string that is not possible see it is giving me error multi-line string I want to have and multi-line string can be written in the ES6 what you can say in the backticks format backticks and here you can say result is right result is you can have some expressions which are maintained by the dollar you can see dollar and I'm going to say num1 plus 
num2 like this above line and this line is same and this is a multi line string so i can write something over here like this it's a multi line string remember that it's a multi line string so this is only allowed in the es6 right and more happiness is over here no semicolon no semicolon anymore you don't need semicolon semicolons are extra things you don't need semicolon and that's why this would be like this your application would be like this so you created let calc and this thing right now you will ask me one question where is the rule or where is significance i'll show you so traditionally we are creating what you can say arrays say arr is equals to this right and i'm going to say pune or say android here i'm going to say ios then i'm going to say rim it's not reliance india mobile it's a research in motion blackberry then windows etc right then you can say some few more see you can have back ticks as well palm then web os likewise so this is an array we have into the array you have written these many elements right now whenever it is a time of iteration right so far you have used for right then you can say let i is equals to 0 then i is less than arr dot length right and i plus plus and then you have written console dot log or say console dot log back ticks and what you can say dollar i likewise right console dot log and dollar i like this now here you are involved in the mechanism of the for here you have involved in the mechanism of the for so you are so bothering about how for works right here you are involving in the mechanism of the for so it is not like that this is a simple this is a difficult to understand actually let i is equals to zero then semicolon then i is less than arr dot length then i plus plus suddenly if this happens right your whole pro program meaning is going to be changed instead of what you can say one plus i have just made plus like this so this is a correct one but suddenly by the typing mistake i did this thing meaning of your application has been changed meaning of this loop has been changed right so this is a mechanism of for now what is a simpler syntax right i'll show you the simpler syntax would be arr dot for each okay now here arr dot for each so here i am going to write the function dot for each and to the for each you need to pass can you see callback function what it is expecting it is expecting something called as callback function if i write this and here you need to pass the function right so you can write function right where you would be having number iterated number right and like this and over here i can have console dot log and i can say back ticks and here you can have dollar num like this now here we have seen function can be represented by 
function can be represented by the fat arrow right so here I'm going to remove the function from here and I'm going to say only here num and you can say arrow what you can say log or say console dot log and here two backticks dollar what you can say num likewise so this line and this line are exactly same significance or your lines of codes are going to be reduced drastically lines of codes are going to be reduced drastically by means of this so here you don't need the function syntax here you don't need the curly braces nothing that can be represented by means of fat arrow here you have written that means of fat arrow is that fine functions can be represented like this so I have used same thing remember that this line or these two lines are more simpler than this one line remember that you are actually familiar with this and you are not familiar with this so familiarity and the complexity are two different things you are not familiar it doesn't mean that it is a complex and you are familiar it doesn't mean that it is simple this is actually simple you don't need to remember start point end point and the condition in the line you have just written the code and that's it in one line you have written the code and that's it that is going to iterate till the end this is going to iterate till the end what happened so I'll continue in the next tutorial